Algebra section 3.1 is talking about quadratic equation and how to uh, find the roots. So for example, if you remember when we have a quadratic equation like this, we use to uh, analyze it, two brackets, so 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. So either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So here you get uh, 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then x will equal to minus 1 over 2 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x will equal to 1. There is another way to solve this quadratic equation. He said if you put that equation into the canonical form which we, we used to use it in, in, uh, in chapter 2. So you can also find the solutions uh, of the equation by so you will put uh, you will put it here into bracket and square and then another number on the other side you'll take radical in both sides so radical here will be plus and minus radical here will just remove the square so you can get also your two roots of the solution Taban, if the square here is equal to negative number this has no roots the thing that you need to remember about the canonical form is that the 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 term inside the squared brackets it should be x plus b over 2a so if your equation is in the standard form ax plus ax square plus bx plus c so b over 2a this will be squared is your constant and x will be alone the other a you will take it outside and this one you can also memorize but this is the basics of uh, getting the squared uh, equation or the canonical form. And now I'll solve course practice uh, 3.1. Uh, question 1. Which of the following is the root of this equation? Taman, he already put it to you in the canonical form. So you will take radical in both sides. So this radical will be plus minus 11. And the other side will be 2x plus 1. So I have either 2x plus 1 is equal to 11. The 1 will go to the other side minus. So 2x is equal to 10. So x is equal to 5 or 2x plus 1 is equal to minus 11. This will go to the other side minus 1. So it's minus 12. So x is equal to minus 6. So this is my two solution 5 and minus 6. Question 2 is asking to select the steps that will be used to solve this equation by completing the canonical form. So the first step you have 3x squared minus 8x minus 3. So I will take 3, I will have reminder x squared plus 8x over 3 or 8 over 3x and this 3 I will keep it outside the bracket, I will take it to the other side so this is equal to 3. So the first step is already the first one, you will take a outside which is 3, x squared plus 8 over 3x and then this minus 3 you will take it to the other side. Then I want the constant here which I know it will be b over 2 over 2a squared so b is 8 over 2a 8 over 6 so 8 over 6 it will be simplified to 4 over 3 squared so it will be 16 over 9 so I put here the constant in this uh, quadratic equation b over 2a squared so this is 16 over 9 in order not to change in your equation, you have to do the same on the other side. So here, I added a constant 3 times 16 over 9. I will add it in the other side also. So 3 times 16 over 9, which is 16 over 3. And this is the second option. After that, I will simplify. So this quadrat, the 3 is the same. This quadratic equation will be x plus b over 2a, which is x plus 4 over 3 all square. And on the other side, this also I need to simplify. This is 16 over 3, so this will be 9 over 3. So I have 16 over 3 plus 9 over 3. This is equal to 25 over 3. So this is the last option after simplification, which is uh, this option. Uh, which of the following is true about this equation? I'll take the 100 to the other side. This is in, in very simple form. So x squared will equal to minus 99. I cannot take radical to a minus number, so this equation has no real roots. Question 4, again he wants to solve this equation using the canonical form and select what are the correct steps. So I have my equation here, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. So I will take a outside, so I have here x squared minus 7 over 2x. 
is equal to three i'll take it to the other side it will be minus three so this is step one step two i need to make this in the complete form of the uh, quadratic equation so i need here to have b over 2c all square b is minus 7 over 2a 2 times 2 is 4 so minus 7 over 4 all square 7 square minus 7 square is 49 4 square is 60 and then equal to minus 3 is as it is i need to do the same on the other side here i ha i added uh, b over 2a square so here i have to do the same multiply by 2 so 2 will cancel the 16 it will be plus 49 over 8 the same sign you have to put this is positive you will put here positive this is 49 over 16 times 2 so 49 over 16 times 2 is 49 over 8 then i will simplify the next step is to simplify 2 this is complete quadratic equation which is x plus b over 2a b is minus 7 so minus 7 over 2a is 4 which is radical this but i'm taking i'm following the sign of the b all square and equal to here 3 this is 49 over 8 so the 3 times 8 is minus 24 over 8 plus 49 over 8 which is 9 minus 4 5 4 minus 2 2 and i have the same denominator so 2x minus 7 over 4 square is equal to 25 over 8 and this is uh, the last step so here if you checked the first one is same as my first one this one is 49 over 4 i have 49 over 16 so this is wrong this is also wrong this is 49 over 16 and 49 over 8 this is correct this is x minus 7 over 4 all square correct is equal to 25 over uh, 8 this is correct this is wrong this is 7 over 2 so number 6 is wrong so i have 1 4 5 here you want to put the answer 1 4 5 Question 5, he already gave you the equation in the last uh, step. You know, already halilha. So, you only need to solve. So, I will divide both sides by 14. 0 divided by 14 is 0. So, I have 3x minus 21 equal to 0 or 2x plus 16 equal to 0. This will go to the other side, will be 21. So, 3x is equal to 21. x is equal to 7. This will go to the other side, minus 16. So 2x is equal to minus 16. x is equal to minus 8. So I have two roots, 7 and minus 8. Consider this equation, fill in the blanks to make the statement blue, and he wants the roots. And I, and I, personally, if I'm going to solve the equation like this, and he's not asking you to follow the canonical form, I will just uh, analyze it. So I'll take two outside. I have x squared plus 6x minus 54 divided by 2 is 27 minus 27 equal to 0. This one easily I can make x. x 27 is 9 times 3. This is positive, so the 9 is positive and the 3 is negative. So this will cancel with the 0. So I have x plus 9 equal to 0, so x is equal to minus 9, I have x minus 3 equal to 0, so x is equal to 3, and this is my two roots. Question 7, 9x squared plus 1 is equal to 1, this one will go to the other side, minus 1, so 1 minus 1 equal to 0, so your equation is 9x squared equal to 0, so of course x is equal to 0. x squared is equal to 144, so you have two, uh, you have two roots, you have plus minus 12 which is radical 144. He's here asking to enter the small value. Taman, the small value is minus 12. Question 9, he's giving you this equation and he wants, again, the smaller value. So this 13 will go to the other side. It will be minus 13. So 4x squared is equal to 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, divided by 4 on both sides. So x squared is equal to 9. So x is equal to plus minus 3. He wants the smaller value, so it is minus 3. This is the equation. I have 2x minus 15 all squared is equal to 9. I will take radical in both sides. So here I have 2x minus 15 is equal to plus minus radical 9 is 3. So 2x minus 15 is equal to 3. 
and 2x minus 15 is equal to minus 3. This 15 go to the other side. 15 plus 3 is 18 divided by 2x is equal to 9. Minus 15 will go to the other side plus 15. 15 minus 3 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So my other root is x is equal to 6 and both roots are positive. The equation x squared minus 8x minus 33 is equal to 0 is equivalent to x minus 4 all square equal to a number. So this is, he's using the canonical form uh, method. So x squared minus 8x minus 33 is equal to 0. A is 1 here. So you have x squared minus 8x. B over 2a all square. B is minus 8 over 2a. 2 times 1 is 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4 all square so plus 16 is equal to this will go to the other side 33 I added here 16 so I have to add here 16 so here I have x minus 4 all squared 4 is b over 2a minus 8 over 2 is minus 4 and here you have 3 plus 6 9 3 plus 1 is 4 49 and then part B, he's asking what is the roots. So you'll take radical in both sides. So x minus 4 is equal to plus minus. Radical 49 is um, plus minus 7. Uh, so x minus 4 is equal to 7. x is equal to 4 plus 7, 11. And x minus 4 is equal to minus 7. So x is equal to minus. This will be minus 7 plus 4 so this is minus 3 so he's giving you minus 3 so the other root is 11. this is very direct question he's giving you already x minus 8 times x plus 14 is equal to 0 your root is x minus 8 equal to 0 so x is equal to 8 x plus 14 equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 14. this one x plus 2 all square is equal to 100 so i have x plus 2 is equal to plus minus 10. So x plus 2 equal to 10, 2 will go to the other side minus, so x is equal to 8. Or x plus 2 is equal to minus 10, 2 will go to the other side minus 2, minus 10 is x is equal to minus 12. He give you the smaller root, minus 12, and the other one is 8. Uh, this is a repeated question of number 11. So again, I have x squared minus 8x plus b over 2a all square b 8 over 2 is 4 square so 16 is equal to the one here it's the, on the same side so i still have minus 33 here i added 16 so i will minus 16 is equal to 0 so the number that is required here is minus 16 then when you add these together it will be minus 49 will go to the other side it will equal to 49 and part b what is the solution radical both sides plus minus 7 so x minus 4 is equal to 7, x will equal to 11. Or x minus 4 is equal to minus 7, x is equal to uh, 4 minus 7 is minus 3. He gives you minus 3 and he wants 11. Last question, x squared minus 6, x plus 40. And how to put it in the, uh, like the canonical form. So I have x squared minus 6x plus b over 2a, uh, b is 6 over 2 is 3 square 9 so plus 9 i have already plus 40 here so plus 40 i added 9 so minus 9 equal to 0 so here i have x square minus 3 x minus 3 all square is equal to this will go to the other side minus 40 plus 9 is minus 31 so the first step here is x minus 3 all square which is this one plus 40 minus 9 so you didn't do anything then you simplify x minus 3 all square is the same uh, here he put it plus 31 I, I take it to the other side so here you can say plus 31 is equal to 0.